Thor News is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... I'm always like, hey Comet, where did you come from? Comet hunting is fun and easy. Well, I don't know about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are over at our good friends at the universe today because Comet Q2 Lovejoy is set to ring in the new year. We got reader images, Thor News commentary, and more. First off, I gotta say, I gotta watch out from hurting myself by patting myself on the back because on November 30th, I said, hey y'all, based on the amateur astronomer photographers alone, this comet looks way cooler than Comet Ison ever was, asterisk. I still think Comet Ison turning into a giant V-shaped spaceship after it launched around perihelion and then stargated, asterisk, ha ha ha, lol, what? was pretty awesome. I mean, that one moment was pretty neat. The, uh, it's alive, it's dead, it's alive, it's undead. That was, that was the cool part. But this, man, the, the photographs have been just incredible. And from all over the world, and from different people. So yeah, three weeks ago, I was like, dude, this comet, it's gonna be a big comet. We might get a chance to see it streaking across the sky, ladies and gentlemen. Heck yeah, plan your parties now. You know what, even if there's not crap, as long as you're having a good party, you'll be having a good time. By David Dickinson on December Catch-22, 2014. A fine capture of Comet Q2 Lovejoy on December 21st. Dun, dun, dun. Why does that date sound so familiar? From Dune, Din. It's the spice. It's worm crap. I've never read Dune, but isn't that what the book's about? Heard it's great. One of these days, man. One of these days. That's one of those books I have on the list, you know? New Zealand, credit and copyright, Ian Griffin, at Ian Griffin on the Twitter. Uh, crap, I hope he doesn't get mad I used it. I said his name. Keep it warm. Yesterday marked the start of astronomical winter for the Northern Hemisphere, meaning long nights and hopefully clear cold skies. But we've also got another reason to brave the cold this week. Oh wait, keeping warm? Yeah, and no. Sometimes I like to go out and then you get cold. What's best to do is you go outside for a while until you can't stand it and the freeze goes to the very middle of your bone and you can't take it anymore. Then you go inside and you cuddle your brains out with the partner of your choice. And if you don't have that, I guess just hot chocolate and whiskey. <laughs> or, or you can heat yourself up in the warmth of your own tears of loneliness like I do. Just kidding. Yesterday marked the start of astronomical winter for the northern hemisphere, meaning long nights, and hopefully clear cold skies. But we've also got another reason to brave the cold this week, as Comet C-2014 Q2 Lovejoy is set to put on a show for Northern Hemisphere observers. Yeah, you won't see anything in the sky if you don't look at it, man. A lot of stuff with Mother Nature is, you gotta watch it continuously to notice the subtle changes, because romance is about the subtleties. All right. Already, Comet Q2 Lovejoy has been providing Southern Hemisphere observers with a fine celestial showing. Discovered by Australian comet hunter extraordinaire Terry Lovejoy on August 17th of this year as it gilded across the constellation Puppis. What? Oh no, glided across the constellation Puppis. I was going to say, wait, the comet gilded Puppis? Which would mean that the comet cut the testicles off of a dog. Which is just weird for celestial happenings. Okay, I've said too much. It's Christmas Eve. Or it's Christmas Day, man. I got a little extra goofy in me. Hope that's okay. Lovejoy has been brightening through early December ahead of expectations. And you know, the whole story, man, is this could be a really cool comet. You should start to see it around January 1st. Anywhere from tomorrow to January 1st to the 8th. To never. You know, I think celestial wonders are wonderful. So you already know the whole story. I'm just putting icing on the cake. Lovejoy has been brightening through early December ahead of expectations. And I noted that it was doing that. In November, we've already been getting some great images from Universe Today, readers down south, and we can expect more in the weeks to come. This is Mr. Lovejoy's fifth comet discovery, and many will remember how comet C-2011 W3 Lovejoy also survived a perilous perihelion passage just 1,400,000 kilometers from the surface of the sun during the 2011 haughty season and went on to produce a brilliant display. Yeah, and that kind of messed up the dirty snowball theory because snowballs aren't going to make it that close to the sun without melting, you know? 
There's a lot of valuable materials on some of those comets and asteroids. Very valuable material. I hear Skynet needs some minerals from comets and asteroids to finish her wedding dress. Ooh, shiver. And although Comet 2012 S1 Ison failed to produce in 2014, we had a string of great binocular comets this year. And once again, let me apologize for Comet Ison. I was totally responsible for it being a failure of a comet. I had nothing to do with Cuyahoga though, a decade earlier. Not a single thing. We did have a string of great binocular comets this year, including C-2014 E-2 Chacos, K-1 Panstars, and A-1 Stakes Off Siding Spring. Oh, Siding Spring was another weird cluster funk, you know? I didn't want to talk about it. Currently, shining at a magnitude 5.5, Q2 Lovejoy is a fine target for binoculars. Probably won't be Christmas till this video comes out, so I will flash the number of the brightest magnitude I see on the screen. Lovejoy is already a fine target for binoculars or small telescopes as it crosses the southern constellation of Colomba into Lepos just after Christmas Day. Sirius currently makes a good guidepost as the comet sits about 19 degrees southeast of the brightest star in the sky. And speaking of Sirius, don't forget to try your hand at spotting its white dwarf companion in 2015. Wow, that sounds like a whole sub-video in itself. A black and white view of Comet Lovejoy taken on December 21st, 2014 by Damien Peach.